Hello everybody, my name is David Gutierrez. I am a junior from Woodward, Oklahoma. I am a biology major and I'd like to go into medical school. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get through the first level of Super Mario and also a couple of facts along the way. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have Mario coming out of his pipe area, okay. So here we have Mario and here is Princess Peach's castle. We have to go save her because she has been abducted by Bowser. Ooh, look at those graphics. Okay, so let's go do this. Here we are. Bowser knows we're here. Oh, look at this. Who's this little guy? This is Toad. Yeah. Oh, come back here. Can I talk to him? I can. Uh, I'm glad to see it's you, the princess, and I. Well, everybody, we're trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars, and he's using their power to create their own world in the paintings and the walls. I will save you, little Toad. Okay, so we're starting out right here. We're going to have to try to make it all the way, can you see it, all the way up that mountain. Hey, look, here's some Goombas. Die. Okay, maybe not today. And so the first fun fact for this would be, Mario's first name was actually Jumpman. That's what he was known as, and then when he came to the United States, they were trying to get, ew, trying to sneak by for this guy. They were actually trying to come up with a name in the boardroom when this cranky landlord named Mario Segal came in to yell at him. And they're like, hey, Mario's a good name. Why not name him Mario? So that's how they came up with the name Mario. Oh, got it. And so number two would be, if you saw that big bowling ball thing chained up, that is called a uh, chomp chomp, or just a chomp. And he was actually inspired by the creator of Mario. He's actually inspired by a traumatic childhood experience. And it came from a dog that was chained up in his neighborhood that would chase him, but would always get stopped by the chain. He would always get yanked back by the chain that he was connected to. According to the internet, that's what it says. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Wouldn't want to be, oh, there we go. Wouldn't want to be, uh, you know, I can relate to that. Number three? Oh, American voice actor Charlie Martinet provided the voices for Mario, Wario, and Luigi since 1995. Hmm. So uh, thank you for that, Mr. Martinet. Charles, thank you, Charles. Now, this is the Big Bomb Ob Lord. Big Bob Ob. Um, Lord of a blasting matter, King Kabooms, the world over. Hmm, can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. Challenge accepted. Okay, so today we're gonna fight this guy. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's one B. And so, number four, Mario has appeared in over 200 video games. So he's been a, a pretty busy guy. Uh, number five, actually, is that he was originally not a plumber. He was actually a carpenter in the very first Mario Bros. When he tried to get to um, try to climb the tower to get to Donkey Kong. He was actually a carpenter. Oh, what happened? Oh, we won. So, here we go. Got it. Number one. First star. And so number six, uh, the Womp Ghost. Or characters who were named after a mythological Japanese being called Nurikabe. Pause traveler to get confused and lost at night. So that's the original origins of those little, you'll see if you ever played any Mario game. Oh, here, this is Womp's Fortress. Chip off Womp's block. Let's go. Number, number one, first thing we gotta do is run through the flower patch and oh, there's nothing in there.
in there. Climb up the tree. Nothing. Oh! Collect all the coins. You know, I don't really... I don't really know what's the point of the coins, but... You gotta collect them. I mean, they're there. Ooh, it's a red coin down there. Ah, uh, yeah. The red coin. And a blue coin. Anyways. Mario, actually... His original overalls were red and his undershirt was blue. In case you were wondering. No! Yeah! Oh, can we sneak past here? Oh, I'm hurting him. Oh. I died. And so number eight. Let's try this again. Princess Peach. Princess Peach was not referred to by her name as Princess Peach until 1993 in Yoshi's Safari. Before that, she was known as Princess Toadstool, like in this game. Actually, I should probably should have looked up when this game came out. But yeah, she was known as Princess Toadstool. Number 10 was Luigi was actually named after named after a pizza place in Redmond, Washington. Yep, the pizza place was called Mario and Luigi's Pizza. Hmm. So that's where they came up with that name. Ooh. Should I try it? Should I risk it? Go for the coins? How many do I have? I have 12. That's good. Let's keep going. Oh, let's go. Come on. Boom. Okay. Follow the arrows. Oh, that's another one. Come on, hurry. So. Oh, here we go. Here's our second boss. It makes me so mad. We build your houses and your castles and we paint your roads. You still walk all over us. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go. No, missed. Oh, no. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Boom! That's one. Three. Three is usually the charm. No, crushed again. He's just a stepping stone. Aww. <laughs> I won't gravel. Graveler, grovel. <laughs> Here you win. Take this with you. Star number two. Okay, and that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. And uh, thank you.